It is through disobedience that progress has been made. Through disobedience and through rebellion. Al Gore said, I believe we have reached the stage where it is time for civil disobedience to prevent the construction of new coal plants that do not have carbon capture and storage. What can we say to that? A lot of people have asked for a long time and with deep feeling for government action on climate change. The climate bill, however, still leaves aviation and shipping unrestricted, while parts of the government are meanwhile blazing forward plans for a new generation of coal power. Sometimes, the best way to get something done is to do it for yourself. In our gorgeous and growing movement for climate action, whether we are trying to intervene in Eon's plans at King's North, or trying to challenge the illegitimate centralisation of power that is the G8 next July, or in a year's time trying to halt corporate lobbyists at the Conference of Parties 15 in Copenhagen, these tiny elites are not going to stop just because we have asked them to. We must deny them legitimacy and block their profiting from the global injustice that is climate change in any which way. And when thousands of people act together in civil disobedience, they don't break the law, they change it. a change, right? I've got one website plug for you, it's eon-fof.org.